compassion. It means showing sympathy or concern for others. Husky Howl is on January 8th. Yay, no school on January 21st. On January 25th is father-daughter dance. Make sure you bring your dance. Hi, I'm Emily Crystalise, and this is Carrington Cartwright. <clears throat> Welcome to the new, new year. year. We are here to talk about Martin Luther King Jr. We celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day on January 21st. We celebrate this holiday by honoring him and his work. It also celebrates his achievements. His I Have a Dream speech is about letting black and white people come together. Sadly, he died at age 39. We will never forget his bravery to help our country. And I am Elia. Today, Sophie is interviewing Miss Haney. Miss Haney is a kindergarten teacher that has four kids that go to the school. Now over to Sophie and Miss Haney. Hi, Miss Haney. Hi, Sophie. Hi. First of all, have you ever thought about changing your career? Um, no. I have never thought about changing my career. You or career? I do. I love my career. Great. Are, are you really happy with it? I'm very happy with it. I've, you, I've thought about um, becoming um, a, a counselor one day. And ooh. I've taken a lot of um, classes to be a counselor. But I'm not quite finished. But I love being a kindergarten teacher. How do you want your students to learn you? Um, I would love for them to remember me as a teacher who wanted the best for them and who wanted them to learn a whole lot and wanted, but also wanted them to have fun. And I would like for them to, to always remember that I loved them more than anything. Oh, that's sweet. Um, tell a story about the biggest success in your life. The biggest success in my life, I guess that would be when I see my students um, achieving their goals. So when they when we set goals for them and they set goals for themselves, that would be the biz, biggest success that I see is when I see them achieve their goals. That's a really good. What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? The best thing that's ever happened to me would would be my husband and my four children. Oh. <laughs> that's so sweet. Um who has had the biggest impact on you? Um I would say that my mom. Car Career-wise, it would be my mom because she was a first grade teacher until she retired um, oh. about seven years ago. And so growing up, I always went to school where she taught, just like you do. Mm -hmm. And I got to see um, what an impact she made on all of her students. And so career-wise, she <clears throat> would be who has made the biggest impact on my life. Well, and personally. She's like your idol. She is. Say, like, what do you want to do when you retire? What do I want to do when I retire? I would love, when I retire, to spend a lot of time at the beach because I love it there. And I would also love to visit my children wherever they are. Hopefully they'll be in college and maybe um, married and have kids and I could mm -hmm. um, go visit them all the time. So, like, you probably want one of those little beach huts on the shore. Yes, that things. sounds Absolutely perfect. Anyways, is this how is this school different from the one you went to growing up? Well, actually, this school is a lot um, like the school that I went to when I grew up. Um, in some ways, I went to two elementary schools growing up, and one um, was in Memphis, Tennessee, and it was a lot like Hunt Elementary. And then I went to one in Little Rock, Arkansas. And the one that that went the way that that one is different is that that school didn't have walls. <clears throat> like all the classrooms were open. And so you could see um, the class next to you doing their lessons and learning. It yeah. was just like one big open area, like if we all had class in the cafeteria or something. That's so, so cool. Isn't it weird? I know. It's so really different. Cool. So. Um, just one more question okay. I kind of wanted to throw at you. Oh, yay. Surprises. Do you have any pets, or do you like, or is there like one pet that you really like? Um, we have two dogs. We actually, um, well, we have a lab, and we actually have a husky. Aww. So one day we would like to bring him to school because his name is Max, and he is a husky. It's like the hunt huskies. So. It was nice interviewing you. Well, yeah, thank you for that. asking me. It's been my pleasure. I love that right. time. Thank you. Bye. We are back with another update. Reed is going to tour the janitor's closet. Miss Liliana and Mr. Ramon use special tools to make everything smell great. Let's go visit the cleaning closet. Over to you, Emma. 
here we are in the janitor's closet and as you can see we have some file drawers a radio and a mini desk and over here this way you have shelves and dusting materials and then another shelf up top with boxes on on it and then over this way you have a vacuum cleaner toilet paper paper towels cleaning juices and then you have cleaning machines and a trash can and janitor carts and more cleaning materials such as a mop a broom cleaning sprays paper towels and rags and then over this way you have more cleaning materials on those shelves and then a ladder this way and then more shelves and then as you walk this way you see a cart and this way and that is the end of our janitor's car hello my name is Landry Kate and I am X and we are here to announce the attendance winners for the month of December. I wonder who the winners will be for the month of January. And the winner is Miss Ray's second grade class. Congratulations on your achievement. Let's go watch them celebrate. Today, y'all um, are the attendance winners for the whole entire month of December. Y'all are the winners for the whole entire month of December. Y'all got perfect attendance from the whole entire school. Like, isn't that just big? whole entire school. Um, so y'all award is a dance party. So can I have everyone come up here please? Okay. Okay.